This is a bilateral lower extremity arterial duplex in a patient who is referred for left lower extremity claudication. First we start at the right common femoral artery and here we can see that this waveform demonstrates a sharp peak but it is not multiphasic. There's no reversal of flow below the baseline. It just continues through diastole. So normally this would indicate either a proximal obstruction or distal vasodilation if the patient had a wound or some type of distal obstruction that would cause the distal beds to dilate then we would see the waveform like this. Moving on to the profundifemoris artery we see a velocity of 204 centimeters per second and we can see here on the image that there looks like there's some plaque within the artery. So this suggests that there is likely a mild to moderate stenosis in this area. Now in the superficial femoral artery, we can see that we have the same flow pattern that we saw in the common femoral. And we'll move through here again, 85 centimeters per second, and we can see some color aliasing within the vessel. So there's likely some diffuse disease throughout the superficial femoral artery. Here again we can see plaque within the vessel. And here's the distal superficial femoral artery. Velocity has increased a bit to 143 from 116 at the mid vessel. So diffuse disease throughout the superficial femoral artery. Then again we see the same flow pattern in the popliteal artery and the posterior tibial. Now here in the dorsalis pedis we can see there's a very low flow, 13 centimeters per second, and we get this very low blunted waveform. So there is some flow in the dorsalis pedis, but it's very low. Now here in the common femoral artery on the left side we can see a very similar flow pattern to what we just saw at the right dorsalis pedis. So only 11 centimeters per second is the velocity of flow here and we can see some shadowing. This waveform indicates a significant proximal obstruction, more than likely occlusion of the iliac arteries. Now on the color image we see that there is very little flow in the common femoral or superficial femoral arteries. Here at the SFA origin we get a very low monophasic signal which again is consistent with proximal obstruction. At the mid superficial femoral artery again we see monophasic flow with a low velocity here of only 19 centimeters per second and at the distal superficial femoral artery no flow is detected. Here on this color image we can see that there's plaque within the vessel lumen but we're not detecting any color. It may be helpful to lower the color scale in this instance but with the confirmation of color and the pulse Doppler there's no flow here. Then at the popliteal level we see this monophasic tardis parvus waveform which again is consistent with proximal occlusion. At the posterior tibial artery and at the dorsalis pedis levels we get the same tardis parvus waveform. So this patient has multi-level occlusive disease in the left lower extremity with more mild to moderate obstruction on the right.